Here's a reading for the week. Hey guys, jump and I'm gonna do a quick reading here for you for the week. And so I wanna kind of uh, share this with you. Um, so pulled the, you know, on the question what everybody needs to see um, right here uh, for this coming week. And this is um, the Four of Swords. Uh, and now I do readings, and a lot of people will ask me why I don't read based on books and what they say the card means. I read intuitively. I wasn't really big on books when it came to learning the tarot. I tended to go with what I receive, what I'm tuning into with the card and then higher self consciousness and channeling, right? And so I don't always just go by the book. And a lot of people, when I share with them, well, that's not what the card means. I'm not reading the card. I, I'm channeling. I'm reading based on what's being shared with me and the card is telling me. I don't go by what the card means as people put in a book, right? So anyway, that's how I read. And I do do readings for people. So if you're interested in a reading, definitely reach out to me. Um, my inf information will be down below in the descriptions. But here is his, or this week's card reading um, for a Swords. So basically, you can see this person's here, you know, contemplating. It's not a death card, but I get the death energy of it because there's things that are coming to an end. And the mental struggles that we're having um, with this, contemplating, trying to think about what we're going to do, they're in a situation that they're struggling, right, in this moment. Although this person looks like very calm and relaxed and just sitting here. But mentally, the person inwardly is struggling, right? And so contemplating, and here is like a spiritual window, you know, asking higher knowledge consciousness what to do in this situation. What are the actions? What? How can I do this? And I need this, right? And so they are kind of praying, right? So with that, you know, it is a contemplation card for this specific reading. And they're asking or something more, more in alignment. And right now, like I had done in other readings, we are surging into more of a um, authentic self uh, awareness, right? Consciousness, where we are, sometimes you may take a job or a career, do something, a relationship, just because the habit, without really looking at it, you know, because it's new, interesting, fun, you know, let's do this. Let's do that. But then once you get in it, you don't want it, right? <laughs> so this is more about contemplating what is more in alignment with our true selves, our souls, our hearts, you know, and so authentic authenticity, <laughs> right? I love these little bloopers. Um, but anyway, this is pretty much what for the week to look forward to, you know, starting your soul, starting to, you know, bring up questioning for you wondering you know what is what is my life purpose what is what I want to do in the world what makes me happy you know time to arise and look at these things right on a more authentic level right and so what's also going to meet your needs you know financially abundantly um, emotionally right uh, happiness, joy, bliss, what is it that you're wanting out of the situation that you're contemplating? And it could come very fast, very quickly. It may also be a very bumpy road, right? But just stick with it, right? Because it's on its way. Trust in this card, right? And so a lot of times this can mean it can come very fast or very bumpy. And so it shows that this is in the process, right? It's coming to you. It's on the way. It's an action card of... Um, and wands we know is action, right? So then you have an agreement. There's an agreement coming, divine agreement. So it is coming for you, whatever it is that you're wanting, whether it be a relationship, whether it be a job, career, a location, a house, whatever it may be, right, that you're wanting. Wanting something more authentic, right? So, but you want to kind of contemplate it, right? And take a look at it because without doing that, you know, it, it can't be generated, right? And what is it that you're really wanting? What is soul level 
wanting to do and express in the world, why did it come here, right? Not our perception persona ego. Now, again, if you've been following me, you know the ego is a replacement self or source whenever you're separate from the divine source, right? And so you have the ego um, structures. But uh, your divine uh, desire is coming, right? And so there's an agreement coming up here shortly. Um, and new ideas, new actions. Uh, so taking that next step when you get that agreement is going to be key to get you out of the other stuff that you don't want. Because if you don't take it and you stay in it, then, you know, that is kind of our own responsibility <laughs> at that point, right? Because then if you're putting it out there that you want something and you're creating something and you're trying to manifest something that is more in alignment with where you are, because face it, if you've taken a job working at a gas station, for example, and now you are a couple years later and you've changed and evolved, you're wanting something more and better, right? Not that that's a bad job. I mean, it's a good job, but you may want something that's more along the lines with like helping people or something that your soul wants to do and create, right? And so if we stay where we are and not taking that next step, you know, then we're not in alignment. We want to always line, re reevaluate everything as we are evolving, right? Along the timeline. And so just have patience because it's coming, right? And so that's the last card in this reading. So I wanted to kind of just put that out there for everybody who is in the um, moment manifesting, whether that is relationship, house, work, job, career, um, friends, family, um, you know, it, it's in the process, right? So just be patient. Um, everything is perfectly divine, created, and even though because of time, we may not want it now because we need it now, <laughs> uh, but of course, things do take time. We are in the physical form and lag exists. So, all right. Happy journeys if you're interested in a reading. Uh, definitely drop below, book a session, ask any questions that you may want. I can also do some readings on here if you want to post a question below. I can do a quick reading, um, of course, and share that on the YouTube. All right. Happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.